Hi, this is Kerry with Filmmaker Central. Now, if you're a fan of Resolve, you probably have a list of annoyances like I do. Check out the video above. One of my big gripes is the sound library. It just is not very good. I, it's one of the big complaints I have. It's not easy to organize your stuff and get it in there and then find stuff. It, it takes a lot of manual effort. And in a recent video, and I wish I had it up on my screen here so I could give the, the right person credit there, but someone recommended a DSR sample manager. And so I'm like, all right, well, let's go and let's find that and see what it's all about. And I found it at a website called adsrsounds.com. And the cool thing about ADSR sample manager is it will import it and based on folders and file names and things, it will automatically tag things, makes it really easy to find stuff. And I'm gonna be showing you how it all works in just a minute, but I did want to uh, give a nice little intro on this one because it is really going to be a big time saver for me. The best thing about it is the price. Free. That's right, it's a free plugin that works with Resolve. It's not perfect integration with Resolve, I'll tell you that right now. It's not perfect, but in when I get to showing you how it works, I'll show you the workarounds for it and how to make it work, and I think you'll be very, very happy with it until Blackmagic really fixes up their sound library. So in the meantime, ADSR Sample Manager is gonna be the way to go, so stay right there, and we'll be right back. So what you want to do is go to ADSR ADSR sounds.com slash product slash software slash ADSR dash sample dash manager. Check the link, check the screen. I've got it all on there for you to make it easy. Just click on the link. It's free. Put it in your cart, download it. You'll get the zip file, run the installer. Okay. Now this is where you have to uh, do a couple little things to get it working. Once you've run the installer, then you're going to go into DaVinci Resolve. You're going to go up to Preferences. Go to your Audio Plugins. You should see it there, and it should be selected. Hit Save. Quit DaVinci Resolve. Relaunch DaVinci Resolve. And now it'll be available for you in the plugins. So let's take a look at how it works. And we'll get Resolve back up and running here. To do, okay. And I'm just gonna grab a random project here. Well, it wasn't random, I chose it. And if we go over to our effects, to audio effects, VST effects, you will see the ADSR sample manager. Okay, so how do we make this work with DaVinci Resolve? And it's not that difficult what we're gonna do is grab the plugin and drop it on the audio. So you, it looks like you could just drop it into the track, but it doesn't work. Click it on audio. Now you can see I have imported a handful of my music and some of my sound effects. So if I go to my tags, I have my sound library and I can scroll through this or I can come in here, I can go to my uh, uh, let's household or human elements. Oh, here, yeah, there we go, human burp. <coughs> there we go, perfect one for this. Um, but let's go ahead and go to our video music. And here's some stuff from Ben Sound, bensound.com. If you need some music, Check out his stuff, it's really good. And I'll just pick one here. There we go. So it's like I said, it's a little quirky. So put your playhead somewhere where it can start playing. So one of the things that you see when you look at some of their tutorials is being able to just grab the file and drop it in place. 
and that doesn't work. It does nothing. Um, I'm going to report this. Hopefully it's something that they can fix if they choose to, but once we have our music selected, now let's go back to memories. I like that one. The easiest way to get the sound in here is to right click on it and say reveal and finder. And what that will do is it'll bring up your file list from your hard drive. There's my file and I can just drag it into place. So it's not that hard. It's just, uh, there we go. So while it's not perfect in that I can't just drag and drop files over, uh, unfortunately that's not there, but it looks like this does a lot of what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to organize my, my sound files. I want to be able to uh, have it automatically uh, tag them when I import them. And it did all this automatically based on the folder structure that I had. And being able to just play something, you know, it's pretty cool. I, I love that. So I think for, again, you know, you get what you pay for here. This was free, so I'm not going to complain. It just understand what this is going to do for you so that you're not disappointed that it's not doing what you want. And but it does help me to organize my, my sound and music library, be able to play it, and be able to find the file extremely fast and just drop it into my program. So that's the ADSR Sample Manager. Check it out. If you know any tips about how to get this to work better with DaVinci Resolve, please post in the comments because I'm just trying to figure it out. I think it has a ton of potential, but I maybe I feel like I'm missing something that I haven't quite figured out how to do in making it work properly with DaVinci Resolve. But hey, just being able to right click and say, find the file, find it, drop it in place, call it a day. That is pretty darn good for me. And it definitely will save me a ton of time in trying to find the right audio, the music, sound effects and things for my projects. So. Hope this is going to be worthwhile to many of you. I know it's going to be a big help to me as I'm doing more and more sound design. I'm having trouble finding the sounds I want. I can just go through, dink, 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 play through a bunch of stuff, find the ones I want. I do have to say to reveal it in the finder and then just drag it over. Um, I'm going to send some emails to them about uh, seeing how to make it work better with Resolve. So I can just drag it right from there, which would be awesome. But in the meantime, at least there's a workaround that does work and it helps me organize my stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. I'm always uh, open to hear what other people are doing and how you guys are improving your workflow so that I can improve mine and share that with everyone else out there. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting and giving me tips like this. Really appreciated this one for sure. Like and subscribe. Check the bell icon to get notified when there's new updates. Check out the website at FilmmakerCentral.com. Go to the uh, Facebook group, Filmmaker Central, and join in the discussions there. People are posting other things that they're doing, other information that they found, other educational resources. So check it out at Facebook.com slash groups slash Filmmaker Central. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will talk to you later. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.